What was that, Killer? That's your YouTube got there first. Yeah. You okay, Cookies, go ahead and kill. join on me or Task or whoever you want to. Um, let's go ahead, since yeah. we've been doing the dam all night anyway, uh, let's go ahead and keep going with it. Uh, you know, might as well worry less about the map and the intricacies with that and more about the, the actual play styles to go for. Uh, give me a second. I have a couple questions in chat, and then I'll be right back. Yeah, I need a minute, too. I'll be right back. Uh, Victory, uh, with regards to news, are you talking about so, uh, Subnautica? Happened, like your friend's car broke down in a bad part of town. No, um, basically, I gave her a ride. Sound. Let me go ahead and mute myself real quick. Um, uh, so, uh, were you talking about Subnautica Victory? Um, I have done research on it. It's one of those things. Um, if you want to donate the game to me, I won't say no, obviously. Um, uh, but it doesn't look that bad. Uh, I'm not a big, huge Minecraft type person. Uh, but the economic and the like, those the the biggest thing that appeals me to those types of games is I love efficiency i love trying to min max and find out the best relation oh go for this food because it does this or go after this resource because it gets you this faster and then if you get this really fast even if you're starving to death once you get this it puts a huge leap towards your next you know not necessary evolution i don't i've got evolve on the brain so i apologize if that's the word um oh yes it is actually uh let me go ahead sound it is at any of my other friends Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, it is actually my son's bedtime, so give me five minutes uh, to go ahead and tuck in my son real quick, and I will be right back, and then we can start up. No more background noises. Thank you. Sound muted. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know what? I'll unmute because that way you can hear somebody in the background. Uh, that being the case, uh, I think I answered all the questions. Okay. So, I will be right back, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Sound resumed. <gasps> is it my night time, Aiden? Alright, I gotta jam after this match. Alright. Uh, seems like I came at a really bad time for everyone. My bad. <laughs> yeah, we did like five arenas with actual work put against each of them. Then we did a bunch of hunt that he got here. Yeah, um, it's totally my bad. I, um, actually, I'm not gonna take blame for this one. I'm gonna blame Kroz, because we could've gotten started an hour earlier if he didn't go uh, AWOL. Just go with shit but... happens. <laughs> That, but honestly, it was my fault. We uh, we probably missed out on a good chunk of practice. Um, no, we were all of us no, we didn't. hard. Well, I missed out on a good chunk of this. Um, there you go. Blame yourself for that, being a nice guy. But um, for anyone that doesn't have it, uh, go grab it again. I think we all have that the call sheet that we're probably not going to use. Oh, you, you aren't gonna use it? Dude, some I of the maps are like idea. flipped around. Oh, is it? Yeah, I was gonna say start saying south and shit, but the power plant map was completely flipped. Which one? Fusion plant? Their fusion plant, yeah, it's completely flipped. Let me look at it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is flipped. Are you gonna uh, uh, rotate it? Yeah, I just was con I was confused if it was flipped one way. I just want to start saying north and south if it was the wrong one, so it's close. I it. think either north and south is better because we have a compass in game. Excuse me. Um, I like the idea, but some of the names. Like... Honestly, honestly, what I think we should do instead of using someone else's call out, um, like it was just really. T um, I liked Bandit's idea of using call outs, and it's super effective. But I think it'd be more meaningful if we came out with came up with our own. You know. I agree, but like I know with us, like what on Fusion Plant, you have Crowbell Canyon, don't we? Task. If he's here. What? We we don't call that path. We don't call it the path. We call it Crowbell Canyon, don't we? On Fusion yeah, Land. Yeah, it's Crowbell Canyon. But they call it the foothill. That's what we normally call the south end. The swamp is the swamp. Security is normally the northern end. Mm -hmm. Forest is forest. Oh, well, we just give some blank maps and then uh, put our own shit on them, like Cookie was saying. Then. Yeah, like th like that's what I'm thinking we need to do as a team. Um. That's what like, I was looking for originally, but then I found these as I was looking for. I was like, oh, this, this works. We could ask our uh, new coach to help. <laughs> he probably would. Yeah, well, I cause, ask like, I would. think, like, I think rather than memorizing the work of somebody else, it'd be more meaningful for us, you know, yep. as I a totally team agree. to have. And plus, it's like, if anybody hears us talking, they, like, they may not understand what we're talking about if we're like, oh, you know, go to, like, Swamp. Like it looks like he's around there, you know. Um, Go to Tyrant Town. <laughs> yeah, 
stuff like that. Um, you know, it's like, oh, oh, no. like Shadow Valley, Shadow Valley. It's like people would be like, where the hell, what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be stupid names, like, but you know what I mean. I just thought the lap of Tyrant Town of all the names that they could have used. <laughs> Tyrant Town. You know Every we're gonna have to sense. use that, right? <laughs> yeah, that one's honestly, gonna stay. Honestly, that one is. <laughs> uh, honestly, I think that one's gonna have to stay. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. No problem. No problem. Lost the stream. Looks like I got everyone in my own group now for this, so it's doing better. Actually, I have everyone on my friends list. Liquor store closes in 26 minutes. You gonna go right now? Just saying. That's basically one game that you'd have about six minutes left over the round. <laughs> Depending on how close he is. How far is liquor store from you? <laughs> oh, it's like. Okie dokie. Like Sorry about that, everyone. Oh. Excellent. Okay. You're gonna be gone, well, you're gonna go buy whatever you're gonna go buy, then get back in like a minute. <laughs> uh, my YouTube channel is... It's not like you can put a son to bed any faster than he's doing right now, too. Okay. Yeah, I know, caps, caps. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. Welcome back. I was just reading your uh, stream chat. <laughs> <laughs> They've been listening to us, haven't they? Fair enough. Um, I have no idea if they've been listening to us or not. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot to mute because I'm a scrub. Thanks. Ah, uh, you're fine. It's not like we're discussing strategies or anything. Just talking about Tyrant Town. Nice. Now everybody knows our secret code name for a uh, little map. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if eventually it'll get to the point where they'll actually have coaches on the team and so they'll be able to have wear headsets and so in between games not necessarily in the game because that wouldn't be fair I think but in between games the coach could be like okay this is what you should be doing because this player on their team sucks or you've noticed that the hunter like it'd be kind of cool to see actual coaches behind because there's a lot of times that I mean I guess a team captain could do that but I, I don't know. Sometimes it's very hit or miss if I if I feel that people are perceptive enough about being able to pick apart the other team. See, the, the thing is, I can do it to some extent, not enough to make like yeah. game changing things. You know, like I can get a general sense of um, kind of like te tendencies in game, um, and like like that's how come I could help. Uh, Cross improve his monster gameplay a little bit before he uh, talked to you, but I didn't really know a lot of the intricacies that would make a huge difference. You know what I mean? Um, for that, we would need definitely need someone like you that could um, observe and take up the team as well. As, well why am I monster? <laughs> I thought you wanted to play, didn't you? Yeah. We can I back out. Hunter. Uh, no, it's it's cool. I'll play one round as a uh, monster. Um, because honestly, I do need to. Um, like you said, um, like, there's a lot of times where just playing the monster helps you come up with like new ideas on how to fight it. Yep. Um, just being curious, do you want the ESL picks for this one or no? We can do ESL picks if you want. We have Kyra Abe. What's the monster? Um, Kyra Abe, probably going Kraken. Krakenarena. I will go Kraken. I should say. <laughs> Not probably. I will. 
if Buckus turrets can spot the monster, would that make him better? Um, I don't think it's his turrets would, are the yeah, problem. It's his UAV and his rocket Mondo. launcher. Uh, his UAV encourages I go for the oh, bucket yeah, to be bu- be further behind the hunters, but his turrets yeah, yeah, want him to be closer to the action. So they kind of are, are anti-synergistic. Matt, anything I could do to improve my bucket for whatever reason that I need to improve my bucket? Uh, your bucket was actually pretty decent for the most part. Uh, you had pretty good location. Some of your turrets were a little too close together, so just be careful of that. Uh, remember, it's more about just spreading them out because it's not like... I mean, yes, the goal of the turrets are to do damage, but the biggest thing is more psychological. If the monster is always hearing that, you know, rat-a-tat-tat of the turrets, whether they're doing damage or not, it's going to make the monster act very, very differently and try and be more on the move. And that's what you want to do. I mean, yes, like, the damage on them is important and they should be, um, but if you can spread them out so the monster never feels safe, that's going to have a much more impact uh, psychologically, and then the monster is going to be more likely to make mistakes. Uh, Let me go ahead and mute Cookie so you guys can chat it as well. Um, I can just... I can mute myself. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that works too. Um, so yeah, so I don't think it's Bucket's turrets that are the problem. Um, it, it's it's his UAV and his rocket launcher. His rocket launcher feels a little on the weak side. Just being curious, anyone else on the team? Do you know does a uh, Crocs or Crocs normally mute mute us or no? He normally still sing to us. Yeah, he normally. He's, I think he mutes us normally. That's what I guess he did. Uh, but it's more his Could UAV. That explain how I knew where we were going all the time. In rocket launcher. At least on the plus side, the last game wasn't like that. My game is crashing. Never mind. So who has the intro movie? <laughs> On a white screen. Oh, um. Wait, no, there we go. Alright. Brain. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of videos. I probably have. Oh, I don't even know how many hours of footage I have. I probably have about five or six hundred videos, assuming each match is 10 15 minutes. That's easily a couple hundred hours ish, give or take. Um, not all of it's coaching, some yeah, of it's of me play. playing, and so on and so forth. Um, I like that he avoided the thing over here. Did Kate take some shock damage, so be careful with that. Dune Beetle coming up. Dust Cloud, way off in the distance. I like that the Dust Cloud went off okay. in this cool. direction. Because that helps, because if you shoot it as soon as you land, sometimes you'll peg a monster if it goes all the way down here. Um, that's a very, very high level uh, play. I swear she just said that two seconds ago. She did, yeah. right? Deja vu, guys. I can need a rail cannon. All that blood will be right. I think the Kraken took feed speed. Not a bad perk. Just kill them all. I, I think the Kraken benefits more from movement yep. speed, though, for than, than feeding. That's halfway. You hear the flight? I just heard him, uh... He's right by me, right by me. Well, ping, ping, well, ping. Where's the pings? There we go. <laughs> I'm like, where's the pings? So, uh, Kraken getting a little unlucky there with food. Not even halfway through to the evolve and already caught. Uh, now, the biggest thing about being darted, it's always about between you and the trapper. The biggest thing is, especially with Abe, always want to break that line of sight with Abe so he can't refresh the dart. I don't think he does either. He was sneaky right now, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. That's a dumb thing. So not a bad area to fight. Lots. Ooh, this is a very bad jump yeah, for the hunters. If he can get through here, that's gonna be actually really good. Oh, nice. And there's a plant right there. Let's see if somebody gets caught by it. Oh. Um, that's two after one vortex. It looks like. Ooh, and food back there too. Yeah, that's what it is. Two after is really easy. Nice pounce. Uh, I like how he's keeping Lennox away. Really good job. Man, it goes monster. Yeah, this is going to be really hard to get any permanent damage on. Lots of areas to move around with. 
Got one vortex that does no damage. Ooh, in that trap. Ooh, that trap. I almost stepped out oh. of the plants. Nice. We, we need to get damage, guys. Um, yeah, head up to your left, Bonzo. Yeah, so this is a really great area for Kraken to just fly around in. Uh, very, very little damage is going to probably be done here. There we go. And then, oh, Mon no, we'll use it to avoid. Oh, be very careful when facing backwards. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, especially Lennox. Lennox isn't going to be pushed around as much. Um, also, uh, yeah, just map things. So right now you're kind of going in a circle. That's going to make the hunters yeah, easily yeah. catch up to you. So you have to be very, very careful. So now Don't you're dipping into it. permanent health, uh, and you could have just Shorty taken the time to run up. straight across here and then used all this for breaking line of sight. Yeah, and especially if you have no armor, be very careful about turning backwards because Cabot can do headshot damage really, really easily. Dome. So this is going to, this is probably going to be the end of the monster. Um, it, it, I know that Cookies is a little rusty with his gameplay, and this is wide open. Uh, the only chance of survival he's going to have is abusing this pillar as much as possible, because uh, none of this other stuff is going to allow him to get booked. This is going to just be a dead end. Uh, this is going to be very bad for him to go through. Probably get in there and do five lines. And that's okay. Um, so bi the biggest thing for you, Cookies, uh, when you're watching this over the fact, uh, probably just map knowledge and just kind of being unrusty. Unrusty, is that a word? It's a word now. But just be very careful about that. Uh, I feel like that you're, you're feeding. I mean, yeah, you did have a little bit of a bad RNG with food back there. Um, but some of your pathing. Um, so notice that you went here and you got domed here and you got domed here. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to traverse at least half the map before getting domed again. And so just be very careful about keeping... Uh, the monster always wants to go in straight lines whenever possible. Be very careful about hugging the outside borders of the map. I played really good. Game, guys. Cookie, uh, uh, GG. GG. No, no, good. Trust me. I, I told you, I'm a really monster. <laughs> I told you ahead of time. It wasn't too bad. Uh, you did have a little bit of bad luck. There weren't that many mammoth birds when you first started. Uh, the biggest thing with uh, with you, Cookies, is I feel that the, the, the best advice I could give is just general map knowledge. Um, and then uh, make sure you stay in straight lines uh, for a little while. For instance, you got domed in the northwest, and then the next time a dome came down, it was about 30, 40 meters away from that dome spot. And that should really never realistically happen. Uh, you were staying a little okay. too close to the hunter. So basically, like when a dome comes down or you're trying to make a beeline away from the trapper or towards a specific location, just go in a straight line. It's always going to be optimal than trying to do, uh, unless the, the uh, yeah, for the most part, just learn to do that. Go go, uh, go in straight lines. Yeah. Don't no. stop until, like, you're on the other side of the map and stuff. Uh, so once that dome went down, that first dome was really, really good. You were doing a great job. Yeah, that was a very bad dome for the hunters because there were two huge pillars uh, that you could wrap around, and I was, I was hoping – because you know, I'm a monster person, what can I say? I was hoping one of the trappers was going to step in that plant, but uh, Abe saw it just in the last second because it was pretty well hidden. Like it, it was behind the shrubs or whatever, and just in the very, very edge of the dome. Uh, but once that went down, if you just went straight across through the caves and whatnot towards that uh, southeast corner, that's kind of a, a hellhole for the hunters to go yeah. at. Uh, you probably wouldn't have taken any permanent damage. Probably got enough food so that you could actually get to the, the second evolve stage, uh, and that would have played out very differently. So always just remember to go in straight lines. Be very careful about hugging the outside walls when you're playing um and yeah uh but yeah good job yeah no um honestly i rarely play monster um i'm a hunter main so like uh just getting on monster really helps me kind of change my point of view you know because i'm like all right oh it's better if the monster does this but it, that's not always the case um, exactly and that's and that's a great way to look at it and for for not playing monster very much you did very 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 well that first dome that was a very solid dome for a monster just being curious, is there any way I can improve my cap except for just in general learning how to play with Lennox? Um, so with Lennox, uh, 
in in general so so cabot has basically two modes uh basically the the cabot should be more is centralized inside of a dome uh because he has the ability to shoot through walls there's very few times where he needs to do much maneuvering because he can either shoot through walls or he's going to be damage jumping which is usually when the monster's going from pillar to pillar which is usually happening in the middle of the dome anyway uh so just try and be more centralized uh so that you're not using jetpack to kind of you you should never chase the monster as cabot uh unless it's a very 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 terrible dome and there's like multiple walls between you and the monster you should always be able to just shoot through the monster so as long as he's dusted or tagged or anything like that um, you should always just be staying in the middle of the map and just keep on pinging him forcing him out of cover and then when he's out of cover that's when you damage amp because your whole team can start just lighting him up on fire that being said though I love that you shot the uh, dust cloud down river as soon as you landed the reason why is because if a monster and this is very high level meta, meta stuff that if the monster books it all the way to the very end of the river uh, which isn't a very common tactic but that dust will pick him up every single time um, if you throw it immediately after landing and you aim it straight at the very very end by the way task you have a lot of uh, followers in my channel that they like watching you play <laughs> well I'm on yeah. okay so let's go ahead and uh, do you want to keep the same map yeah let's keep the same map for now I... go ahead Sorry, I got to jam out uh, thanks for the help man I appreciate it a lot and uh, I'll see you guys next practice yeah, take it easy, right, Bonzo. See you, Bonzo.